Hello everyone, this is Pauk's The Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. Today we continue working with the blouse with the drop shoulders. This is the lower detail of the pattern. First, I want to make it about 5 cm longer. To do that, I need to pin the center back to a fold. Be very attentive. I want to cut the extra piece from the dart. This is how the lower part of the back detail looks like now. I remind you that there will be two pin tucks here under the waistband. I want the opening in each of the pin tucks to be 4 cm wide. I'm showing you everything very thoroughly for you not to have any questions left. I want the lower part of the blouse to be white and gathered. You can make it as white as you want. You do not necessarily have to make the pin tucks. You can also make the blouses as long as you want. I'm making the openings 4 cm wide. Make them as wide as you want. Next, I need to make the second opening here. It will also be 4 cm wide. I also want to make the lower part of the blouse 5 cm longer both in the front and the back details. I remind you that this is the center back. Guys, do you realize how lucky you are? There was no YouTube when I was learning to sew. I eagerly share my knowledge with you. Some of the techniques which I show you took years to be created. Do not forget to make a notch on the center back. I need to make two pin tucks here, 4 cm wide each. I need to mark the openings with the notches. Next, I need to pin the waistband detail to the fabric. The center back should be pinned to the fold. I need to add 1 cm extension to each side. It's so convenient to work with all the sides and details assigned. Do not forget about the seam extensions. This is the center back. When the pin tucks are stitched, these details will be even. This is how they are going to look like. Perfect. Next, I need to cut the lower details for the front. After that, I'll move on to making the bow. This is how the back is going to look like. Notice that all the details match perfectly when the pin tucks and the darts are closed. I can move the back aside. It's ready for taking. I'll be working with the lower part of the front next. I remind you that I made the lower part of the back 5 cm longer. What do I need to do? I need to add 14 cm to the center front. Do not forget about 1 cm seam extension. This is the center front. 
The line I'm drawing now is also the center front. I'll sign the line, the center front. Next, I need to pin the center front of the lower part of the front, right to the drawn line. I'm going to make two pin tags here as well. I need to cut the extra piece from the dart. The openings in the pin tucks on the front will also be 4 cm wide. I made an accurate opening by sight. Be very attentive when pinning the details. The direction of the edges should match. The distance between the pin tucks in the lower detail should be even to the distance between the darts and the upper details. Three point five centimeters. Next, I need to cut an opening here and make it four centimeters wide. The pin tags on the front will match the dart. These openings should be four centimeters wide as well. I need to pin these details now. They should be made 5 cm longer as well. You can change the design however you want. Don't be afraid of working with patterns. I made the detail 5 cm longer and added 14 cm to the center front. Be very attentive. I remind you that I made the detail 5 cm longer and added 14 cm to the center front. I wanted to understand how the front should look like. These two doors should be stitched. They are accurate. They will fit the body perfectly. The pin tucks will be stitched this way as well. You do not necessarily have to make the pin tucks. You can make regular waist tucks here. Notice that the details match. The only detail left to be made is the waistband for the front. I want to make the edge and the lower details bias. Just like it looked like in the sketch. I'll cut it this way first. And then I'll decide if I want to make it more bias. As I've already said, the only detail left to be made is the baseband for the front. I remind you that there will be a bow on the front. The waistband for the front will consist of the four separate details. The bow will be inserted right in the side seam. I'll show you what to do. 
боковой шов вот здесь еще дополнительный. Но мы потихоньку, сейчас потихоньку все с вами разберем. This is the waistband detail from the pattern. I need to add 14 centimeters to it. This is going to be the left detail of the front waistband. The right detail will be made wider right from this point. Be very attentive. I want to stitch about to the waistband details. I'm not going to make the waistband just of the two details. It would be pretty hard to do it. I'm going to make a regular waistband in the blouse. And then I'm going to attach about to it. The seams won't be seen when the bow is tied. Let's start working with the waistband. Have a look at the sketch once again. As I've just said, there will be a seam here on the waistband. It would be hard for you to make the bows any other way. First, I need to cut the details, which will be inserted in the front, and then the details for the bow. When it's done, I'll show you how to make a collar. This is the center front. I need to pin the center front of the waistband to it. This is the front waistband detail, which was cut from the mock-up. It's so convenient to work when all the edges and sides are signed in advance. I'll take the waistband to the garment first, and then I'll move on to cutting the bow and the collar. Do not forget to make notches on the center front. That's all for today. Next I will continue working with this blouse. Be different and beautiful. My name is Paukštyrina. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Goodbye.